Top 20 Test Engineer Interview Questions and Answers It is crucial to be fully prepared before going into a job interview. In this video, we will look at the top 20 interview questions and answer that could be used when interviewing for a test engineer position. 1. Why are you interested in this role? Sample answer. I found this position and became interested in this role when I was starting college. I realized this field could be a very flexible career as it has its ends in business and technical roles as well. I wanted to begin with my career in technology and acquire skills that could be used in software development. I wanted to be in this sector as I always found myself more observant than most people, and I could easily spot errors and backfalls. Hence, my efficiency in this field comes from this natural ability. 2. What are the roles of a test engineer? Sample answer. Test engineers are assigned to implement and design the tests that make sure that the end products have the quality and functionality required. They are also a core part of all of the phases of a testing program, from designing test parameters to troubleshooting the errors and writing the final test procedures. Testers also execute and log tests, evaluate their results, and document all of the problems found, they monitor the process of testing and test the environment. 3. What are the qualities that a test engineer should possess to be effective? Sample answer. A test engineer must have certain qualities that allow him to find the errors and pitfalls of products no matter how small or insignificant they are. His qualities also include having a test to break behavior towards his daily tasks, he should be able to view products from the customer's perspective, and must be quality-driven. The engineer should be diplomatic and tactful, and must be able to maintain a highly cooperative relationship with the developers. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you handle it? Sample answer. Although my previous job position was great in helping me learn something new every day, I was always challenged when I had to go through communication issues. Most errors and mistakes happen in products only because of the communication gap organizations have. In addition, I feel challenged when I find a lack of requirements documents and an unstable environment. These factors, though, have also helped me adapt to situations where I have to utilize my testing and analytical skills only to test products. 5. Describe your daily routine as a test engineer. Sample answer. Being a testing engineer, my days always began with testing the emails that I had received from the previous day and overnight. I had to create the test plans to test new product features, update the tests, perform manual testing, and reporting on their bugs. This involved my daily routine of keeping an eye on the products that were already tested. 6. Briefly describe your test engineer experience. Sample answer. I really enjoy my role in the testing end, it was always a source of learning new things and new technologies while being paid for it. My interest in technologies and business led me to this job, and I always find it great to have an opportunity to test products that are going to go into the hands of millions of people. 7. What strategies and mindset is required for this role? Explain with examples. Sample answer. A test engineer should have a mindset of curiosity and having the freedom to ask questions. These two mindsets allow testers to be able to check products and find unclear and invisible errors and pitfalls. He should also have the right will to help other team members develop their testing skills and work together as a team. This allows the team to form quality products and come up with the best results that are error-free. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? Sample answer. Being in this job role has allowed me to handle challenges and adapt to changing work environments. I believe this role can also have challenges like the inability to address a team's flaws and problems because of personality issues. I believe I will be able to adapt to this role, i.e., finding errors and fixing them or dealing with them to make them less harmful for the company. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? Sample answer. 
I am always motivated by being curious about product development processes and the challenges I face. I believe this position is of high importance, as any product reaching customers' hands cannot be brought back for fixing things. Hence, I am motivated by the daily pressure we testers have on us to provide the very best quality. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. Sample answer. In one situation, there was a small error in the end product, I ignored it, thinking of it as being insignificant. Soon, when the product became a failure, I wished that I could have known the value of that small error sooner. Through this experience, I realized that my analytical skills are of very high importance, and I should use them to better assess what is coming ahead. 11. State the major difference between QA and software testing. Sample answer. A QA is responsible for monitoring the quality of the process needed to prepare the software. The testing engineer is involved with the process of making sure that the end product meets most or all of the requirements stated by the customer. 12. What is the difference between build and release? Sample answer. A build is a number given to any installable software given to the testing team at the development end. Simultaneously, the release is the number of installable software given to the customer by the tester or the developer. 13. What is the difference between quality control, quality assurance, and testing? Sample answer. Quality assurance is the process of planning and defining the monitoring methods and implementing quality in a team. This defines and sets the standards of quality of projects. Quality control involves finding defects and providing suggestions to make quality improvements. Testing is the entire process of finding bugs or defects. It ensures that the product being built meets the requirements set provided by the user. 14. What do the test strategy and test plan include? Sample answer. Test strategy is at a higher level and is mostly created by the project manager that shows the whole approach of testing for the entire project. By comparison, the test plan shows how testing must be performed for any particular application that falls under a project. 15. Do you think QAs can take part in resolving production issues? Sample answer. Yes, it is a great learning curve for the QAs to solve production issues. Most of the time, production issues may get resolved by clearing all of the logs or by making a few registry settings. The QA team may well fix such environmental issues. If a test engineer has a skill in production issues, he may add them while writing the test cases. 16. What is the difference between functional and non-functional testing? Sample answer. Functional testing is all about the functional aspects of the application. This technique tests whether the system is acting as required. These are directly connected with what the customer requires. This also involves the validation of test cases that are against the specified requirements and making the test results accordingly as pass or fail. 17. What is negative testing? Sample answer. Negative testing is the technique that validates the system behavior as required if there are any invalid inputs. Just as if the user enters any invalid data in the text box, the system must show a proper message instead of just the technical message that the user doesn't understand. It is different from positive testing as the later only gives validation of the system that it is working as expected. 18. How will you make sure that your testing is complete with good coverage? Sample answer. For this, I will use the requirement traceability matrix and the test coverage matrices. This helps us make sure that we have great coverage. The first one helps us determine that the test surroundings are enough to make sure that the requirements are completely covered. 19. What is validation and verification? Sample answer. Validation is evaluating the final product to check if the software meets all the business needs. The test execution that we do in our daily life is the validation activity that includes smoke testing, regression testing, functional testing, etc. The verification is evaluating the intermediary work products of the software development lifecycle 
to determine if we are on the right track to creating the final product. 20. What is the difference between load and stress testing? Sample answer. Stress testing validates the behavior of the product or system when it is executed under stress. We reduce the resources while also checking the behavior of the entire system. We initially understand the upper limit of the product and then reduce the resources and go for checking the system behavior. In contrast, load testing is the validation of product or system behavior in the expected load. This load may be of the concurrent user or the resources that are assessing the system simultaneously.